Real quick, just wanted to remind everyone, I have a movie channel. I have a lot of videos on the Best Picture nominees, stuff like that. I'm coming up with some tier list of David Fincher movies and Quentin Tarantino movies coming up soon. So make sure you subscribe to that. The link is in the description. And anyway, back to your regularly scheduled video. I thought this could be an interesting idea for a video. It's actually before I even made videos on this channel, Mahomes' first game. If you uh, have been a fan for a while, you know I started this channel the following season in Mahomes' first year. He was a full-time starter. But if you remember, his first time he actually got into NFL football was the final game of the season against the Denver Broncos. The Chiefs had already won the division. They were locked in to their seed. And so they said, hey, let's play the backups. Well, Mahomes being a backup that season, we got to see him play. And I think there's some interesting things to look back on and how he played. The good that he did show, there were some negatives as well. Right off the bat, though, this third down and 10 is going to be a kind of a play right away that showed that he has something. Where you see the route on the screen, watch as when Mahomes takes the snap, he's going to look down the field, fire down the field, and there isn't a huge window at all. And again, third down and 10, so it's a big play uh, in this spot. But watch the throw that Mahomes is going to put on here. Look at this, just an absolute bullet, a thing of beauty right there. They're able to pick up the first down on a third and 10. The flag was on the defense, so that play stood. And you definitely saw some of these, you know, classic Mahomes plays, even in his first ever start. And again, it's also worth mentioning, he didn't, you know, you, we can sit here and say, oh, well, Mahomes jumped into a great situation. Well, the first time he played, he was playing with backups against a team playing with their starters because the Broncos were out of the playoffs. So, you know, sure, it was the 5-10 and 10 Broncos, but still, like, this isn't an I ideal situation, and he's still being able to make some plays. Now, it wasn't perfect in this game by Mahomes. This play was kind of, you know, one of the most notable uh, misfires by Mahomes. It was a weird play, though. So the way it works is it's a man coverage concept. You have a receiver running the route you see on the screen. Mahomes is going to take the snap. He looks in that direction and fires, and you see that there's a window. This is an open throw right here, and this is going to be so off that I wonder if there was a miscommunication or something, because you look at how far over him that throw was. It almost looks like Mahomes was expecting his receiver to continue running straight, and these are kind of the rookie mistakes you expect from a first you know, a player playing in their first game. So, you know, if you look at a, I think it's a good lesson to learn maybe perhaps that, you know, when we evaluate these quarterbacks, when they play in their first games, maybe some of these, you know, not quite getting on the same page, not being fully fluid right out of the gate, not the end of the world is fair to say, because even a guy like Mahomes who came into the league awesome, still maybe had a couple of these mistakes. Like this one was another one where it's going to be an end zone situation. It just seemed like the timing a bit off. That's something you noticed uh, his first time was he didn't quite quite have the timing down on every play. So, so again, what does this tell us about Patrick Mahomes? Absolutely nothing. But what does this tell us about maybe guys in the future? Maybe you don't have to. I mean, it's kind of obvious in general. But, you know, maybe you don't have to jump to conclusions when a guy misses a couple throws. Like Jordan Love had kind of a similar uh some similar mistakes in his first start. It happens. Um, one other just fun thing from going back and watching this game was some of the graphics we saw them put up on the screen involving Patrick Mahomes, which is just kind of funny to look at in hindsight. Like this uh, scouting report uh, graphic, which by the way, Mahomes, I, I don't understand it because the guy's still like in his 20s, but he looks incredibly young in this photo. So I don't know what happened there. Uh, maybe, it's, I, don't, I don't know. But, uh, you know, you look at the positives and negatives for the scouting report. Rare arm talent, ability to throw on run and accurate deep ball. Yeah, those things are definitely true about Mahomes. Uh, the negatives, NFL verbiage and ID defenders uh, hasn't been under uh, center and also believes in arm too much, which I think is that's a very funny uh, negative in this, uh, you know, it, it, it's almost like what the, in a job interview, what's your biggest weakness? Oh, I, I care too much, right? Like, I feel like, yes, that usually is a negative, but when Mahomes has the arm he has, him believing in it too much is actually the correct amount to believe in it. Of course, I'm not, you know, uh, it's easy to say that in hindsight, knowing it now at the time, it was probably a fair thing to put in the negatives category. Just we had never seen anyone like Mahomes. Also, this uh, graphic was an interesting one. Bit of a cherry picked graphic for sure. But still, uh, the fewest wins by a drafted quarterback since 1988. So the Chiefs prior to Mahomes did not have a single win 
by a quarterback that they drafted, which is kind of crazy to think about because, like, that's not just, like, a first-round quarterback. Like, you know, if you draft a guy in the fourth round to be a backup and then they come in and win a game as a backup, like, that still counts. So the fact that they had none in that long of a stretch was pretty pretty crazy. It was the longest stretch, uh, you know, again, bit of a cherry pick because, like, they picked 1998 since the last time was in 1987 that the, uh, you know, Chiefs had a drafted quarterback win a game. But it's just fu- kind of funny looking back on it, or now, I mean, how many wins have the Chiefs uh, had in the past, you know, uh, six seasons with Mahomes? It's kind of just crazy to think about. But back to the game, you know, I always say when I'm evaluating young players, like this play is going to be a cover zero, and I always say with young players, what I don't necessarily need to see out of you is consistent good play. And we actually saw a consistent good play out of Mahomes in this game. But what I want to see out of a young player in their rookie season is, can you show me the flashes? Can you show me where, you know, why you could be great? And that's what Mahomes did. We're like this, watch what happens here. Mahomes takes the snap, and since it's an all-out pressure, there is going to be, you know, you see that there's a guy he wants to throw to down the field, but there's also going to be pressure right in his face. So can he get down the field to make that happen? Well, usually you're thinking no. If with most quarterbacks, you're like, this isn't going to happen. But we would soon find out Patrick Mahomes is not most quarterbacks. Watch him while getting hit, still be able to throw the ball down the field, get the first down on a third and 14. The Chiefs would go on to uh, you know, be able to convert the third and 14, 14. Really good play there by Mahomes. And again, it's just one of those classic Mahomes plays. At this point, we don't even think anything of these plays. But at the time, like these are superstar level plays that a rookie is making. Like this one's another one where it's going to be, you see the concept on the screen. It's really that over the middle route, the one going from the offense's right to the offense's left. So towards the top of the screen, that's usually where you look towards. Patrick Mahomes takes the snap. He runs the play action. He is going to look in that direction. And, and to be honest, probably should just make the throw right now. But again, rookie quarterback maybe is going to hold on to the ball for a little bit longer than he should. But here's where things get really interesting. So those two Denver players are coming in to, you know, uh, try and tackle Mahomes. Mahomes doesn't want to get hit, right? Mahomes is trying to avoid the hit right here. So watch what he does. Watch him step up in the pocket and then while, you know, moving like that, still put a perfectly accurate throw on and get the completion. I mean, again, it's one of those things that like now we're just used to seeing from Mahomes. This doesn't even seem like a highlight real level play from Mahomes. This is just, yeah, that's what Mahomes does. At the time, this is like the craziest thing we've ever seen. And he was doing this not just as a rookie, but as a rookie in his first NFL start. So I just think it's really interesting to go back and watch this game because he was legitimately awesome in this game. Like he had some mistakes. He had some young player issues that like definitely he needed to get worked out of his system. And I almost wonder if that's maybe part of the benefit of sitting a year is you can kind of get some of those rookie mistakes out of your system just by watching Although, again, you know, maybe just Patrick Mahomes is like, like, no, like he was good enough at the other stuff. Like he was still good as a rookie. If he had to come in and play right away, I think Mahomes still would have worked. I think it wouldn't have been quite as good as it was in his you know, first season as a starter if he came in and played as a rookie. But I, could, I think going back and watching this game, it shows like he was pretty awesome from the jump. He really was. He made some really good plays. So, yeah, what's the takeaway from this? Like, what's the point of this video? I don't know. I just thought it'd be fun more than anything. But any key takeaways? I mean, I think, you know, uh, if you're evaluating... I guess it goes to show maybe the one thing you take away is that like, well, it's true that plenty of guys have horrible first games and then come on and are able to play well, you know, after that and end up having good careers. It does happen the other way too. And it does happen where guys come in and maybe aren't, you know, who they're going to be in game one, but can still come in and play well right away. Like that is something that happens as well. I don't know, Uh, but just an interesting uh, game to talk about. So I want to make a video on it. What do you think of all that? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from y'all, and of course, as always, thanks for watching.